All right, now I want to show the process of uh, fixing maybe UV problems because uh, students hate UVs and I know this and they kind of blow past the UV phase. Well, in this case, the UV phase is probably the most important phase out there. Uh, during the design phase of uh, these little chunks, when I put the UVs on, uh, I never even considered that the fact that this this chunk right here will need to have its repeat value on both sides of the brick um, to match up. So, in that case, you know, for every time that I have this piece, it has to blend to this piece on the both right and left hand side. All right, so let's let's fix that. Let's see if we can fix it after the fact. So in Maya, I have this window and then I have a small brick. This one right here. Now I can move these things around because I've absolutely snapped the positioning of the pivot point in the corner. Okay, that means if I do move them around, I know exactly where to place them. To place them directly on the this uh, range at zero. And that you can use X on the keyboard to snap them back. All right, so I'm not really scared about moving these things. Um, now it's just a matter of lining them up. I'm going to make a copy. Well, first off, I'm going to line this up on the, the one hand side. And it's very easy to do this. You just have to think about the grout lines. See how the grout line starts here and the grout line starts here? Well, if I can think about that phase throughout, um, no matter what I do, the, the brick will line up. All right, so let's go to UV Texture Editor. So what I'm going to do here is try to get a grout line started on both the top and bottom. Now sometimes I just get plain lucky and I can move this stuff around and I might get to the point where it lines up. Other times I'm going to have to use the size of this object to match up this object. Okay, And in this case I'm talking about the height from here to here must match. And I can see what's going on. It's this one right here is the height value. All right, so let's size this up a little bit. And reposition it. So that's another good way to uh, try to figure out scale. Is if you just match it across these very simple planes. And try not to, there we go. We have to uniformly scale it. Do not non-uniformly scale these things. This is very sensitive. I will let you know that if you have a wheel mouse or a, a, a mouse that's run by wireless, <laughs> I have a lot of those. Don't don't use them. It's a horrible thing to use in Maya. There we go. Cool. I think I got the height down. I could definitely see the resolution starting to match back and forth. And now it's just a matter of uh, getting them aligned with some kind of grout line. So I got a grout line there, and I got a grout line here. Okay, grout line, grout line. 
Uh, another thing that you might want to consider is the fact that these are just a little bit off. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is pull this one over to the side, grab its UVs, and see what happens here. Look like they line up all the way to about right there. Pretty close. If I go the next brick layer down, it looks like it matches up quite well. I don't like not ending on a grout line though. Again, that's a, a personal preference of mine, especially when dealing with brick. So I'm going to try to get that as close as I can so it always lines with a grout line. All right. Now, let's take it to the other side and see what happens. Okay, let's also put it back on the UV plane. And unhighlight it. pretty darn close. I'm going to go with that and I'm just going to move it back. Cool. All right, to move it back to the UV plane or area that uh, it started at, again, just hit X on the keyboard and get it snapped perfect. Then we could turn off the layer for the small window. I didn't change anything there. I just changed the UVs on the small brick. Then I can export selection. Here's my small brick wall. Then go back into the engine. Right click on it, re-import static mesh. You'll see a slight change. Now this other wall right here is the mid brick wall. So now I have this one aligned. So anytime I have these two together, it should line up perfect or close to. Okay, now I have to fix the mid brick wall. And I do the same thing here. It's, it's nothing new. Uh, just aligning the UVs, making sure everything looks right and then coming back. Brick is by far the worst uh, case scenario when it, when you're dealing with this stuff and that's why I kinda like to do it with the students first. It's like you know if you can get brick right everything else is just cake. Alright so there's nothing really new here as far as the fixing process. I'm gonna do the very same thing. I'm just gonna make sure for every time that it's on this side it matches up and if it's on the other side, it matches up. And that way, it becomes a universal part. So, please move on to the next video. And if you have to have anything fixed, this is the point where you should fix it.